Hey guys, the shoulder neckline is basically the crown of male aesthetics. While the shoulders present one of the most visible horizontal points of the body, the neck gives a first impression of muscularity. But what's more attractive? Very well developed traps and some shoulder development, or very strongly developed shoulders and some trap development? Let's have a look. When we look at these two guys, we can already see where the extremes lie. The guy on the left has higher overall muscularity than the guy on the right, but still looks way less aesthetically pleasing with his sloped shoulders and overdeveloped traps. The guy on the right, even though not having very toned muscles, looks pretty attractive compared to the other guy. I think most people would agree that the overall appearance is just more aesthetically pleasing, just considering the looks of the body. Then similarly, when we look at bodybuilders, we find the extremes in guys like Ronnie Coleman, whose traps look like they have a life of their own. It's basically like the image looks somewhat unnatural and photoshopped above his shoulder line. To me, it makes him look awkward and unesthetic, as probably for most people who are looking for pleasing aesthetics over overall muscle mass. Albeit in a different weight class, take Frank Zane in comparison. His traps are way smaller, making his chest and shoulders more dominant in the overall look. His chest dominates the aesthetic, and the wide shoulders get extra bonus points due to the slimmer traps. That doesn't mean that less traps are necessarily better. Although this generally widens the appearance of the shoulders, it also takes away the impression of raw strength that balances out the look. Completely underdeveloped traps make a body look way less strong and capable in the overall aesthetic. Therefore, a highly aesthetically pleasing look has a nice even balance between wide developed shoulders and strong but not overly developed traps. Take Taylor Lautner for example. On a scale of what's naturally attainable, he has a nice even distribution between trap and shoulder development that makes him look broad as well as strong. Well toned broad shoulders are complemented by clearly outlined traps. Looking more at a bodybuilding scale of muscularity, take Arnold Schwarzenegger. His massive chest dominates his look, his shoulders pop, and he has nice trap development. But there is an even balance between shoulders and traps, making him appear very broad as well as nice strong trap development giving him that intimidating strong look. So guys, I want to hear your take on shoulder and trap development in relation to each other. Write a comment. Thanks for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe and as always, stay awesome.